There's also another display available right now for you to get a glimpse of in the Harlem Renaissance. Joining us live in studio this morning to discuss the new exhibit at FIU is art curator Christopher Norwood. Christopher, thank you so much for joining us, for being here. Very happy to be here with you. So let's talk a little bit about this exhibition. What's it all about? Um, it's called Silhouettes, Image and World in the Harlem Renaissance. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's a visual display of American history from an African-American perspective. The show is called Silhouettes, Image and Word in the Harlem Renaissance, and it's uh, being held at the Wolfsonian Museum, and they have this amazing collection of first edition uh, books of literature from that time period. And we're highlighting the visual art within it because black artists during that time period were not able to showcase their work in museums and galleries around this country. And so the collaboration between the literary figures of that time period, like Langston Hughes, uh, their ability to illustrate those books and to do the cover art really allowed that art to uh, to travel around this country through publication. And so the show is highlighting those books, those that cover art, but also paintings and sculptures uh, representing those artists uh, that we have on loan from amazing historically black colleges and universities like Fisk University and our very own Florida Memorial University. That's so neat. So if you want to see the exhibit, where do you go? What times is it? How much are, do you have pay for tickets? How does it all work? So. Uh, uh, Wilsonian, I believe, is free for Florida residents. Um, it is located in Miami Beach, 10th and Washington, and um, it uh, the show is up um, all week, uh, I believe Wednesday through Sundays. Uh, generally, I think from 10 to 6 o'clock, I think it's open later on uh, Friday evenings. So you can go to their website to find out how to uh, to, to, to get all, all the relevant information, but you can also go to HamptonArtLovers.com because uh, we have that show there. And we also have other shows that we curate as well. Okay, so let's talk about that. You have a gallery in Historic Overtown. Yes, ma'am. Talk to me a little bit about that and why it's so important to the South Florida community and really everyone as a whole. Well, again, uh, Overtown is a, is a part of Miami history. It's a part of American history. Uh, in fact, uh, Overtown was a, a black community historically written into the Miami Charter to be a, a segregated black community. Uh, but they were pioneers in the establishment of, of this community. And the historic Ward rooming house was built by Shadrach Ward and his wife in the early 1900s as a, as a, a, a safe space for black folk who needed a place to rest, rest their head. Wow. And uh, we've been honored over the last five years to run this gallery that was renovated many years ago by the city of Miami CRA, uh, renovated and repurposed as an art gallery to keep that history uh, uh, viable through the architecture of that building. Uh, the show that we currently have in the gallery is called For the People, 700 The Arts. Uh, it's a show focusing on the African-American art collection of Miami-Dade Public Library. Our library system here in Miami has an amazing original art collection. So when you go to the libraries in our community, much of the art there is actually original art. And wow. so they've been at the forefront, even our library has been at the forefront of promoting black art. And so we, we were able to curate a selection of that work. Okay, before I let you go, how important is this for you personally to bring this perspective to everyone and kind of teach South Florida, but really everyone about Overtown and uh, all of these artists? Well, Silhouettes in particular is really telling a story about the history of African American people in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And, um, and a lot of people are not very much aware about the importance of the American Great Migration and the impact it had on the trajectory of our country. Uh, the Great Migration was the largest peacetime migration in the history history of the world where six million black folk moved from points south to points north. And it was in these communities, New York, Cleveland, Indianapolis, Chicago, Detroit, that this new black aesthetic was created, at that time referred to as the New Negro Movement. And when you think about it, most of the culture that we know as being traditionally African American, music, jazz, jazz was not created in the rural south. It was created in the streets of St. Louis, Chicago. New York. And the same holds true, true through many other cultural aesthetics of our community. Obviously, we come from the South. 90% of black folk lived in the rural South prior to World War I. And they traveled to these communities seeking liberty, opportunity, and freedom, just like many people here in South Florida. So uh, 
we want to be able to show that visually through the art. And we do that in several themes within the show that really outline all of the things that make African Americans who they are. Just so important, so many lessons to be learned and amazing artwork to look at. Christopher Nord, thank you so much for joining us Very this happy morning. to be here. I'm very happy to see Mr. Spaulding on your earlier segment with the Boy Scouts. He's an extraordinary uh, 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 Boy Scout leader and uh, it's awesome that he's now the Scoutmaster uh, Chief. Yeah, both of you doing amazing things in our community here in South Florida. Yes.